What's up? This is Ray. Welcome back. Hey, check this out. We got a cool episode today. We're going to be checking out some high tech lighting gear. What we're going to be looking at is the Falconize Pocket Light F7. Um, Falconize reached out to me a few weeks ago, asked me what I like to test their latest RGB light. Um, I've heard of Falconize before, but I didn't know they knew I existed. So, of course, I must be, <laughs> I guess I'm getting better. But so the point of this light is it. When I looked at the specs, I was really impressed, not just because it can do all the colors of the rainbow, but it can do pretty much everything in between those colors of the rainbow. You can really fine tune what color you want. Um, and more importantly, there's a few colors in here that is not even in the rainbow. Um, so the light is, can also be used as a white light. Um, so, and you can also adjust the color temperature. So on this face, there's a lot of different, uh, LEDs with different colors that are mixed together with a computer in there to do everything it does. So um, if you're interested in something like this, a professional quality light, uh, I'm very impressed with it. Uh, stick around. I'm going to be checking out the Falconize Pocket Light F7 right now. Yeah, so what comes in the box? Of course, you get the light. Yes. Um, it comes with this, this strange multi-adapter that I've never seen and I still haven't figured out how to use. You're able to put, it has quarter turn screws on both sides and this big red knob on top allows you to move them in any position. So I'm, I'm assuming you could probably put this on top of your camera. You could attach a microphone on one side. Could you attach a light on the other? I don't know because this big red knob would be in the way. <laughs> so I'm sure I'm going to have to figure out what's a good way to use this, but it's good that they put this in here. Um, they didn't have to do that. It comes with a cold shoe mount so that this can sit on top of your camera. One thing a lot of these lights don't come with that this come with is a grid. This grid is what goes over the front of the light. And the point of it is it can keep the light pointed in one direction. It doesn't spill as much light to the side. So if you're doing creative portraits or stuff uh, and you don't want that light shining on the background or different things, um, this can really come in handy. I, was, I, I didn't expect to see this in there. Um, it comes with a diffuser also. Um, so yeah, it's, it's really uh, up to you how you want to use it. Um, and if you can't figure out a, a good way to use this light, it's really, you're limiting yourself. It's not the, it's not the light's fault. Um, of course, it comes with a charging cable. It has a built-in internal battery and uh, this soft case. Um, really, really impressed with what it comes with. Okay, before we get into how to use the light, I just realized I forgot to mention there's also a tripod mount on the bottom. Very important. So to, to use the light, to turn it on, you hit the power button until it comes on. The first mode that comes on is the last mode that you use. <laughs> so the last mode I used, I was testing the scene mode. The scene modes emulate a bunch of different things. Right here, it's emulating an ambulance. It can emulate lightning, a police car, a candle, a TV. Um, there's so many different scenes that it can emulate. I'm not going to go through all of them now. But um, the one interesting thing about the scene modes is you can't adjust the brightness while it is in that mode. But um, it's very good to have those, especially if you're like a music video producer or something like that. Um, you really can find use for this. I think this one is the lightning one. Uh, the next thing is once you press the power knob again, it goes into the white mode uh, and you can adjust the color temperature. For example, this is the warmest white you can get. And this is the cool white. So you're really going to most likely find something in between. And this is important because with the LCD display, you can see the exact color temperature. So you can match it to the other lights you have. So it'll be a seamless, seamless color. Uh, once you press it again, we go into the color mode. This is the part that is very detailed allow you to really fine tune the color to more of the colors in the out in the um, rainbow. This one is I think I've said this in a previous video this hot pink is my favorite. <laughs> I can't get enough of it. Okay so this is something I want to show you once you have the color set you can adjust the saturation and this is how it looks. What the saturation does is it introduces white LEDs with the colored ones to make it lighter. And then at that point you can use the, the color intensity or the brightness of the light to really fine tune it further. Uh, so that's one thing about this light. It's, 
it takes a little more time if you want to get a specific color but it is very um, capable as far as how how intricate the different colors you can get in between the main primary colors that's the main thing that really impressed me about this light I'm curious do they have one bigger than this okay so one of the specs that in, that's important to know about this is the battery is a 3000 milliamp battery and the question we all want to know I guess is what is the battery life how long will it last and I don't think anyone can answer that <laughs> because it depends on so many factors um, how bright do you have it maybe the saturation um, affects it because it's introducing white lights now with the colored lights um, so there's so many things that affect it I, I don't know how long it will last but what I will say is when I got this um, out of the box the battery wasn't 100% and I've been using it for several days now and I still have not had to charge it yet it's probably at 20% now um, so yeah I, I'm, from, I'm pretty confident that it will last for a job or a gig or a wedding that you're doing um, and it comes with a USB-C cord if I didn't mention already and that's where you plug it here to charge it um, but again the the metal build of it um, that's one thing I'm really impressed with um, the anodized metal and and how heavy it is it doesn't feel like something some of the the Chinese lights that you normally see so uh, as you can tell I'm pretty impressed with this light I really can't find anything to complain with it all right, so that's my review of the Falconized Pocket Light F7. Um, there's a couple of things I want to do with this review that I didn't have time to do. I wanted to do some creative portraits, and I also wanted to do some uh, long exposure nighttime photography, but I've just been too busy. But hopefully you're able to see the potential of what this is capable of in this review. Um, I'm going to put an Amazon link where you can get this. Um, if I remember correctly, I, if I didn't mention it already, it's about $150 or so. I'll, I'll put the actual price up here. Um, and if you have any questions, if I forgot anything, definitely feel free to leave them below. But uh, hey, keep in mind, no matter what light you use for your photography or video or whatever you do creatively, creatively, <laughs> until next time, as always, keep it real.